The US has been funneling military or monetary aid to the war ravaged Ukraine from the very start of the Russia Ukraine war. Ukraine has been surviving the war owing to the West's backing, but nothing lasts for too long. The US soon started getting irked by the demands of Ukraine and gave up on its aiding practice recently. A few days back, the US turned on Ukraine's weapons request, which became a matter of concern for the hobo Ukrainian military. But recently, the same US agreed to give the same weaponry to Poland. Now, this brings the act of the US into question. Why did the West deny the request of Ukraine but sign the same deal with Poland? Hello and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of TFI Media Group. I am your host Ananya Sharma. Let's begin. In response to Russia's conflict in the neighboring Ukraine, Poland's defense minister on Wednesday inked a deal to purchase a second batch of American Abrams main battle tanks. Warsaw is also stepping up its military cooperation with Washington. According to officials, Poland will be the first American ally in Europe to get Abram tanks. The $1.4 billion agreement was signed at a military installation in Vesola close to Warsaw by the defense minister. According to the agreement, 116 M1A1 Abram tanks will be delivered this year together with the necessary logistics and equipment. U.S. Brigadier General John Lubus, Deputy Commander of the 101st Airborne Division and U.S. Deputy Chief of mission in Poland, Daniel Lawton, both attended the signing ceremony. Elements of the 101st Airborne Division are stationed in southeast Poland, close to the Ukrainian border. The deal follows one made last year to buy 250 modernized M1A2 Abram tanks, which will be delivered in 2025-26. Poland has already received Patriot missile batteries and is awaiting the delivery of American HIMARS artillery weapons. Polish and American officials said the agreements bolster Poland, the area and NATO's eastern border as the conflict in Ukraine rages on in Vesola. But what draws surprise is the fact that when what on Ukraine asked for Abram tanks, its request was turned down by the US. Why Poland and not Ukraine? After all, how can someone kick lucrative monetary benefits coming its way? In order to aid Ukraine in its conflict with Russia, the US will not provide it with M1 Abrams main combat tanks, as stated by the defense officials of the US. According to authorities cited by the Post, the Abrams are too difficult to maintain and complex to operate for Ukraine. Authorities also claimed that Ukraine has enough tanks already. The incident shows how the US is increasingly getting reluctant to send its weapons to Ukraine. The Ukrainian army's inefficiency to use Western weapons has been highlighted earlier too. Western countries don't feel at ease in sending weapons to Ukraine now because it has realized that their weapons in Ukraine regularly become fodder for the Russian army. The US has now realized that by funneling aid to Ukraine, it is unnecessarily prolonging the war that Russia has already won. The US is in no mood of hurting its business prospects and mindlessly aiding Kyiv.